Well, I kind of loathe even doing this video because I do actually try to put some effort into the videos. And yeah, it's a, technically it's an update, I guess. But um, not much was said. So unless you've been uh, totally out of it for the last couple of weeks, it's just been a lot of devastating news coming out about the SPTV Foundation. People leaving, people upset. Serge has spoken out. Liz has spoken out. And it's just a lot of people. And Liz Gale left, but then she put on recently another video suggesting she didn't leave. She was pushed out. But in her own videos, she said, no, I decided to leave because she wanted to ask some questions. But she didn't think she'd get answers to those questions. And what are those questions? Oh, so many. So many. What is exactly is the official status of this alleged charity? Is it really a nonprofit? What is the structure? Do they have a professional structure? How do they deal with applicants? So on and so forth. Is Aaron in complete control? Do the board members have any real say? All that we've gotten so far is they've had a couple meetings. They do take votes. And they've distributed money to a few people, including Liz Ferris. But they're very... Um, not giving out too many details. Not too many details on what exactly is the process of decision-making or even what the goal is, aside from promoting YouTubers. I mean, you go to the SPTV Foundation website, it is mainly focused on, are uh, YouTubers speak, go to their YouTube channels. And Serge officially confirmed that that's the focus of Aaron. Aaron is focused on, my audience is the audience of the SPTV Foundation. Not even apparently the second generations. Yep. No, they are not the main concern at all. Careful that Liz Ferris is being turned into this, um, whatever, new Jesus Christ, Che Guevara, Malcolm X truth-telling angel person. But no, um, can't really deny the basic brunt of her comments where she's very dismissive of where the board is at the moment. You're absolutely right. They don't care about the protesters. They don't care about the second gens. They don't care about what we've been through. I promise you, they don't even care about the subscribers. The only thing they care about is that almighty dollar. Well, I will say that part of what I predicted turned out to be true because Natalie was right there, but they did not really engage with the accusations, the allegations, or now pretty strong evidence that the foundation is being run in a very weird manner. Now, it is not technically a nonprofit, as far as I know. So it does have a different structure. So people might say, why is this even being allowed? Well, again, Aaron has made it a not-for-profit corporation. Not a nonprofit, but he insists that he does have a legit EIN number and Pearl Snappy. And again, I have issues with Pearl Snappy, but she double-checked those EIN numbers and Nothing is coming back. And as far as I know, if you try to search it as a charity, you're not going to get anything. So at the moment, it's like, what exactly is this thing? And Aaron's response before this video was pictures of a dog, pictures of his daughter, and him in a pool with the Jennas. And as for the video itself, oh man, this was quite a waste of time. I could only make it through halfway. Um, or a little bit over the half way mark because it just droned on and on. Even what the focus was is not clear because apparently Aaron named it something at the beginning when it debuted, but then he turned it into a Diddy video. And Diddy does make quote, a guest appearance. They talk about him for a little bit, but it's not really about Diddy per se. Just Aaron moralizing like, oh yeah, the evil of the Diddy. Those weirdos in Hollywood, it's disgusting. And Danny wrapped up in the Diddyverse. And all of this is going on, um, unobserved, unhandled. And there's just there's just a lot that we can talk about here. Um, there's also, even in addition to this whole subject, even much, much more that we can talk about. Um, and before we jump into all of this, I do want to tell everyone that later in the week, I am going to be publishing an update for everyone on matters. And it just went on and on like that. It just was like, okay, um, we have to stand up to the evil. Okay. I mean, that's a little weird, given that uh, 
if these allegations are true, then Aaron and Natalie would be evil. Not like David Miscavige evil, but they'd be guilty as charged. So, not quite sure. But some people said that Natalie gave no information. No, she did respond to one comment about, well, what exactly is the tax status? If you give a donation, can you go to the IRS and have it validated? And all Natalie said was the obvious thing, oh, you need to consult your tax experts. Go with your accountant. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you really are concerned with the donation being a tax write-off, you would do that anyway. But she's supposed to be the treasurer. Don't you have information on this? Does Aaron not give you any information? Or does she know the information, but it's too damaging, so she's not going to tell you the information. And are they actually seeking this nonprofit status? Aaron just says, well, it's just in the mail. It's coming to us. But then he just says elsewhere that he has several EIN numbers. You don't need several. You just need one. So, I mean, even the comment she gave was a little strange. It's like, oh, well, you know, we got to get this before we get that. But it's like, no, the EIN comes first. Then you should be able to get the nonprofit status. So it doesn't appear like they even know how to get the nonprofit status. I mean, I know that Natalie seems to have a kind of like real estate background. And Aaron has a business background. And some people in the comments are saying, well, you know, it takes a long time. Uh, no, if you do the research, you can get the status fairly quickly, right? I know it sounds incredible, but yeah, you can get your EIN fairly small amount of time, just several weeks. Somebody was saying it takes a year. It does not take a year. It does not take a year. That I know for sure, right? People have done studies on this thing. And the U.S. is fairly quick to recognize businesses and or charities. So, uh, and again, this is not a massive organization, right? They've lost a lot of people, but it really just seems to be Aaron and a few other people. I can't even see any staff listed. So it just seems to be, I guess he paid someone for the web design and that's it. He's the president. I mean, Mike Brown is listed as the secretary and it's a voluntary board. So nobody's getting a salary, but so even small nonprofits do have a bit of a staff, right? You'd have presumably somebody that when you call the number, they respond and an assistant, you have some tabulation of what you're doing, right? Most charities have benchmarks. This thing does not have a report. It's not even stating what the mission statement is. The mission statement is just vague. It's just like, uh, we're here to promote the voices of the YouTubers, even though they've lost a lot of their own YouTubers. Right. Surge is gone. Liz Gale is gone. Several other people just left very early, like Christy Gordon. And again, to be fair to her, we don't quite know why she left. Could be she had other commitments. Again, there could be good reasons like family crises or whatever, but we're not really getting much information as to why the board kept changing, why people are leaving. Right. And uh, apparently some people in the chat were making fun of him about the, uh, all the troubles of the SPTV Foundation, but they weren't going to answer those questions. So uh, we are where we are. It's kind of like just a standoff. But I predict, of course, Aaron will eventually address the questions because, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, at this point, you are just taking a massive risk if you give them money because you just don't know where it's going to go. Don't know what it's for. Don't know what it means. But just to be fair and balanced, apparently Nora came forward and said, at least when she got a grant, it did not come with conditions. When Liz Ferris got the money, it came with sort of this weird contract that she had to sign to make sure that Aaron got good PR from her, which is very strange for a charity to do. It is fine to have a liability form, but it seemed the language of the conditions were specifically to silence Liz and make sure she said nothing negative because they had a big back and forth, which led to her being disinvited from Natalie's celebration. So yeah, I don't know. Um, but if you just want to hear Natalie and Aaron whine about, oh, the evil of Hollywood. Oh, the evils, and we will confront it. Yes. Yes. Two YouTube celebrities will confront the evil of Hollywood celebrities. But, and, and just to close off, there was this section where, and I want to be very clear that Moxon, right, who's still alive, Kendrick Moxon, is 
really evil. Although they don't seem to know who he is. They made some weird comments about uh, his status in Scientology. I'm like, I don't think they know who he is. But anyway, so they were making comments about his daughter having a tragic death. As far as we know, as far as I know, we don't really know what happened. She just died. But they attributed it to Scientology and Moxon and Moxon Daddy cannot confront the evil. Okay, how do you know this? Where are you getting this from? So that felt very, very strange. Like Kendrick Moxon, yeah, he, you can criticize him all day and night, but I don't know. I'm a little bit unsure why we're getting into the daughter, right? I mean, Zack Snyder lost his daughter. I think that's a very difficult topic. So unless you actually have real personal knowledge, you shouldn't presume to speak and say, ah, oh, yeah, I know why she died. Well, does Aaron personally know her? Because it was just coming out of nowhere. They were like, oh, yes. She died to get away from Mox and her father. But it's like, how do you know this? How do you know this at all? I mean, Kendrick Moxon is extremely evil. That's true. But what exactly was his relationship to his daughter? Don't know. But they presume to know? Okay, fine. But do you have any evidence? Just seemed like a lot of assertions. But anyway, so that was a little disturbing. But even that was uh, fairly phony. So we'll just have to wait and see if Aaron will really answer these questions in a serious way. But for now, it's just... Apparently nothing happened last week. Apparently he didn't lose, what, at least a third of his own board? Nope, that's not concerning. Or other people like Nora leaving, right? She was supposed to be a volunteer for them. Nope, none of this is concerning, apparently, for reasons.